you received the job? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I want to tell you what happened with this lady before we close. I spoke with this lady. I said, you will go, there's a position God will give you. She went for the interview. And when she reached there, they said, Ay, you're not qualified. She came to me. She told me, she said, ah, no, I didn't receive that job. You know what I said to her? I said, every Sunday, come to me. Because I don't believe in a God that can fail. This lady and her husband, it didn't even finish three weeks. Huh? Yeah, that's true. Huh? That's true. The, this lady, every time after the service on Sunday, they come. I say, in Jesus' name. When I pray for her, I said, I'm reversing this decision. Now I, now I believe God, whether you like it or not. I'm telling you. I told this woman, I said, if indeed I have seen the eyes of Jesus like this, boy, I don't believe in a failure. He didn't finish three weeks. That's true. And I could see that after they denied this lady, she was disappointed. That's very true. When she was coming to me, it's like the husband is just pushing her. I said, true. sister, let's reverse this decision. If now you have been prophesied that you are going to receive this, and they say, no, you are not qualifying, it means now I'm a false prophet now. I said, oh, come to me. Remember Elijah when the baby died? There are miracles that we need to force them. Until Satan gives up. Amen. Remember when the child died, the prophet will sleep on top of the baby. Eh? The prophet will sleep, sleep on top of the baby like this and say, you must wake up, you must wake up. And the word of God says, he, he did that many times. I don't believe in a failure. I'm telling you. I don't. You know, I told you one time here, I said, it's not long when I told you what happened. I said, I have been praying. I pray, Mama, Mama, Mama we pray. You see, pray. Oh. So now, in the, all of my journey with God, you know, Jesus will always hide himself. You can't see him. All the time. You have to see something just voo, very fast. And say, ah, I saw something. One day as I'm closing, I told you that when I was sitting on my bed like this, I saw myself somewhere. But when I reach in that place, I sit down also. There's this person who said to me, look there. Just watch. I watch. I saw something like a curtain moving from the floor, going up. And when it was opening and opening, it reached a point where now I must see a face. It went up. I saw a face. I said, ah! This is Jesus. So Jesus looks like this. When I was still looking, I had a bah! And I was taken back to where I was sitting. I said, but even if the Spirit of God has returned me to my bed, but I know what I saw. And I started to remember Moses. The Word of God says, if you see the face of God, you die. But the Bible speaks about Moses meeting God face to face. I know what I saw. That made me to have courage. If there's a spirit that is standing in front of me, I say, hey, you demon, you don't know. 
I'm telling you. It made me to have anger and confidence in God. If there's a demon in front of me, I say, you don't know this God. So now when this lady was coming, coming, I said, with what I saw, I don't believe this company can say what they're saying. I said, bah! She came again, I said, bah! She came for the third time, I said, bah! Last week she came back. I said, prophet, I received the position. I want to close, but I want to tell you this. Your relationship with Jesus matters. Your relationship with him, the time you spend with him, it matters. If you build that relationship Whatever that you say, God will listen to you. Whatever that you wish to have, God will say, you are worthy of it. The reason is that we haven't reached that level, you know, where now our relationship with God is stable. That's the reason why there's, we are stagnant. But when we, you reach that level, of becoming a friend of Jesus, everything is possible. I'm telling you. I want to stretch my hand. Jesus, the people that you are choosing today here, the people that you are choosing them here today, anoint them now. Now in the name of Jesus, receive the power to defeat that enemy. I say, receive the power to defeat that enemy. I see your eyes opening. I see you seeing the glory of God. Rasika Tayaka. If there's a place that people can see, I see God taking you there and showing you the mysteries of heaven. But when other people are looking, they're supposed to die. I see you seeing things that other people they will never see. And because of the grace of God on, upon your life, you shall look like Abraham when he was looking at Sodoma and Gomorrah. When other people were failing to look. Riasa, likasa, liprokoto, rakasikete, rikoso lakapra, raito lokokoko. You must have faith and believe. That you can give an, an anointing that is different from other people. When other people are limited, you, you come with your Jesus and say, me and my God, we are not limited. Me and my God, we are not limited. When other prophets are prophesying, you go and speak the opposite. And you say, me... This is what God has showed me. Like Elisha. You don't need to be like them. I don't know if you hear what I'm telling you. I say you don't need to be like them. Because when the spirit of God is given, it's not given the same. You must have that prayer in your heart and say, Jesus, lift me high. I want to see you. The secret, I want to tell you, the secret is to pray a different prayer. Not a prayer of receiving something. 
Holy Spirit, those that you are anointing them today, make it times 10. I say, make it times 10. Make it times 10. Let it be different from other people. I don't know what is time 10, but I'm seeing double double. When Elisha was separated from Elijah, the word of God says he received double. I'm sure it's times 10. And the same prophets that were prophesying at him, they said, why are you going? Because this man will be taken. They look at him and say, now this man, it looks different now. God is about to do something shocking in your life. I can't hear your amen. amen. I say God is about to do something shocking in your life. Amen. I can't hear your amen. amen. I can't hear you. 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 Amen. amen. Who told you that anointing is the same? Who told you? Who told you anointing is the same? It's God who gives. And he gives according to the way he wants to give. Many of you here, I see the grace of God visiting you while you are sleeping. I see visions coming to you. I see visions coming to you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You must look different. When other people are seeing one thing, you see something different. Because Jesus has favored you. Lift up your hands. I want us to go in close. My prayer to you is that God must make you different. Amen. I don't know if you are hearing me. Amen. I say God must make you different Amen. from other people. Amen. You people is just, you don't know. There are many prophets that were there. There are many that were there, but they are not recorded. It's only the ones that had favor from Jesus that we're reading about today. So now you must tell yourself that I also need that favor. I don't want to be an ordinary person. Yes. 